I'm good to go. Let's start now. We're rolling. <laughs> yo yo yo. <laughs> we are rolling. The one side. We are. We are. We are. Okay. Okay. Let's do this thing. <clears throat> okay. Are you yes. Let's make some magic. I am. Let's go. Boom. Maybe you don't want a beatbox. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Cookie and cream. Cookie and cream. Tell us, na bye. Yo yo yo! Am I from the Bronx? <laughs> redo, <laughs> redo. This, this is horrible. But you're from Juhu. No. You're a Juhu Why boy. Why did I go? Okay. Yo yo yo! What's up, guys? Welcome to the inaugural episode of my favorite podcast in the whole wide world, Cookie and Cream. Cream, 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 Cream. I'm your host with the most beautiful wife. Nailed it, Chinmay Sharma, aka Scuba Chinu by profession. I'm a sports broadcaster. I'm an anchor. I'm a full-time lover, part-time scuba diver. And uh, this this lovely lady here is the apple of my eye. My stitch in time saves nine. My long gavacha, my chaya chaya, my cookie. Ria Marfatia Sharma. Woo, guys, what's going on? Thanks for the beautiful she, intro. How nervous are you? Pizza barking. Pizza barking. Woo! <laughs> Pizza barking. <laughs> Tad bit nervous. But hi, I am Ria. I am a makeup artist and a professional hairstylist, and I am the cookie to the screen. And. Uh, Guys, first of all, thank you. Without knowing you guys are part of history, because wherever this podcast goes, years from now you would have been at ground zero. So thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. Uh, what is this podcast about, Cooks? Uh, it's we've just been... to sum it all. It's yeah. nothing. No, no, no. I fucked you up. You practice this like five times in the morning, dude. You can't fuck up. The fuck. It's about nothing in particular, but everything in general. Yeah, I'll give you high two and a half to... for that. I'll take five. it. I'll take it. But look, we've been uh, sort of. Conceptualizing this for I think six months now, and uh, it's honestly uh, a lot of thinking. It takes a lot to get in front of the camera. She's really nervous, guys, right now. Like she said, the pits are barking. Uh, but I just felt that uh, now more than ever, the world needs some love, and we've had touched a, a great five years of marriage, two years of knowing each other before that. So I thought, why not share? The fun we've had over the last seven—I got that right, no? Seven years. You got it right. Oh, thank God. I had to Facebook her birthday like three months back, but which is a fact. Shh, he did not know when my that. birthday was, and he had to Facebook. I was not, I was confused between two dates which are right next to each other. Now, can I continue about the about the podcast? Let me sell ourselves, folks. So we need money off of this eventually. Uh, <laughs> we've got our producer literally six feet away from me. Saying, come on, come on, let's go. Paise bana, paise bana. No, but uh, and I really felt that it's it's important now more than ever to tell you the amazing journey, not by shoving it down your throats, uh, but just by talking about our experiences because we've literally decided to take most of our dirty laundry out, which might not be discussed in episode one, but just to put it out there in one of the episodes, which will hopefully be a scuba diving one, I will go out there and tell you about how I have literally. Taking a shit in the Pacific Ocean while there were two sharks swimming about thirty feet below me. I'm going there, guys. There was a turtle also. There was a turtle also. Uh, so we're going there, and and uh, do you want to add something about what this podcast is about, bro? Uh, yes, this podcast is also about uh, Chino's infamous text message. Fuck off! We can't start like that. Cause... We have to. This guy asked me out over a text message. SMS. Five years back. SMS. Okay, and uh, okay, okay, we're going there. It was. It was okay. It was okay. I mean, how long did you have to wait to get First a response? First of all, I I didn't know this is a let's attack Chinu from minute it's one podcast. It's always a let's it's attack Chinu cream. mode. You're fucking making this cream sour, sour cream. <laughs> that was horrible. Please forgive me. So uh, I did. I'm guilty. I. Uh, I but I didn't but you know what? You made up with the world's best proposal. Fuck so yeah, I give you twenty points for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. SMS for one second quickly. I was uh, a coward uh, because. Are they what? Are they what? Are they what? When all of us uh, growing up, yeah. you know the little flings and dings you have, and and I I dated girls, but you dated a lot of girls. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't just come easy, easy. Okay. I whenever I dated, it just went from uh, holding the hand or like a. A little zoom, zoom. That just led to. Then you're like, oh fuck, we're dating. So But with you, because you made me fucking go hard. You're like, oh, I will not date anyone till I get married to him. <laughs> and, I'm and, classy like that. You've not. Let's oh, not, let's don't not, you dare! Let's not. Dude, I'm, let's I'm, I'm not. I made some really classy jokes, okay? Good don't for you. Anyways, but uh, if any of your girls are watching, well, I guess I'm allowed. Yeah, but they're classy. But you never asked a girl. I you never know, asked a girl out. Forgotten it, like you've conveniently forgotten a lot of things. And then I made up. You don't even remember who's the first girl you kissed. You've forgotten way too many things. Okay. Think harder. We have time. Think harder. You know, this is the most. We're, we're telling them about the also the happy experience. Can we get to the proposal now? Okay. The best proposal that anyone has ever given anyone, no exceptions. Okay. Yeah. 
It was beautiful. It was everything a girl imagines. It was basically uh, a scuba diving. Chinu wore the sexiest tux wetsuit. And uh, he had... Custom made, made bro. Custom made. Grand and he flex. had a ring with him. But it was not just in his pocket. It was kept inside a clamshell. Clamshell, yeah. I'm saying it yeah, right. Yeah. And it had a beautiful message next to it. It did. And as soon as uh, you went down on your knee, I remember that. <laughs> I was fat that time, so I had to on go down both because boy and Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went down on your knee and I skipped a heartbeat. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. And what is the first thing that I do when I see you? <laughs> oh, gold digger! Oh, thank you for reminding me. Okay, first of all, it's taken months of prep for this because it's an underwater proposal. I had to literally ask her uh, parents for permission because I'm old school like that. And I've got a tuxedo printed wetsuit made, custom made, and I've gone down at 30 odd meters. I've proposed to the girl of my dreams. And the first thing she's seen me, and we had cameras underwater. I'm sure we have the footage which is probably playing right now, or pictures or something. But I have gone to her and I have this little board with the with the most beautiful message. I, I know what it said. Bebe, are you ready to make me the luckiest, luckiest guy man. in the world? Yeah. And uh, and what has she done? The first thing she's done is she's put a hand out. I swam like this. And in my hand, I'm like, she gave me money and all I need. She's a gold digger. No, but... Uh, Shut up. That's okay. not nice. And it was, I think, the most adorable proposal. It's my biggest flex, guys. It's, it's not much that you I have. You should be this. proud of that. And then this is second. Uh, it was beautiful. But it was beautiful because, Cooks, once the proposal happened, we shared a beautiful underwater kiss. Ooh! And then when we action. ended the dive, sunset, perfect, You beautiful. know that was planned, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, planned yeah. because I know how much you love sunsets and while we were coming up, the sun was setting. I don't doubt that. Best proposal ever. And guess what this guy has done after giving me the best proposal in the world. I don't think you've said one good thing about... I, are you talking about... I said you, you gave okay. me the best proposal. And then what I do after that? I went deep. I went dark. I got wet, dude. And it's not what you guys are thinking. I am a disgusting human being because the moment the dive got over, everyone in the hotel knew that we're getting uh, married. So there was a cake at the jetty. She was the only one they who They were clapping know. for us. Clapping. They were celebrating for and us. And we come so and like, you guys are going to consummate that marriage. And what have I done? I get a little whisper in my ear from my instructor saying, there is one spot available for the night dive. Do, would you like to go? And Ria is just waiting with the room key and a cake in one hand. I'm like, baby, can I go for a night dive? And she's like, and, and you know, this is actually, it's funny. But I don't think I've said this, but I think that is one of my favorite things about you is is just how un like the, the ability you have to diffuse a situation is amazing while at the same time having the ability to make me piss my pants with one look. That one look, I swear, and all of our friends know it, right? They're like, there's that one look which happens after like four or five or six strikes. And that's like a Jaspreet Mumbai Yorker, dude. It, it fucks you up. You're crazy. Uh, but yeah, we did go for a night dive. Even though you went for your night dive. Zip your face up, dude. Smart time to talk. Smart time to shun. No, no, I'm kidding. Sorry. Even I, was, I was trying to get that look out of you. Which we haven't got. But you know what? There's a picture of it. The look that I... That little shit comes out of my ass and then it goes back in. And he said, you want to talk about, uh, talk about shit, bro. Let's talk about the fifth base. Let's go there. I think, I think it's a big part of our relationship, dude. Thing? Okay, guys, everyone who's watching knows that uh, the four bases, fourth bases <laughs> with the girl uh, or the guy uh, or whatever your gender is. But uh, after that comes the fifth base, which is when you have the guts to release any form of gas in front of your partner. But there's a that story is, to it. How we celebrated uh, after a story after almost every third day. Oh! Oh, the, the, the meal. You forgot. The meal of destruction. The oh. meal of destruction that we back. have never been able to recreate. Ever. Do you remember the dish on the table? Because, I okay, know. Guys, oh, I let, know. Let, let, let chicken tell. tikka, uh, calamari, prawn. Fried calamari. Uh, chicken lollipop, my favorite. Two cakes, by the way, because even the restaurant knew that he proposed to me. So they also sent one cake. <laughs> and I and, uh, ate it. Do you remember what we were drinking with that? Hey, words, 5,000. Bro, that's, that shit can power a tractor. Uh, that's the first time. That kind of makes me sound like a cheap date. No, but. You are a cheap date. Yeah. No, but after that, the Shut walk up. back, which is uh, 200, 300 meter walk, uh, we've just, we were just ferociously gassy. Uh, mine was southerly winds and hers was more north, northwards. King of the north. King of the north. And, and I think that But it's was, okay. No, and I think it's so cool because we know a lot of people who, who girls who say, oh, you know what, we don't poo girls or we don't fart. fart. It's Talk normal. You, know, you girls fart, right? Yeah, of course they do. Own yeah. up to it. It's okay, it's no big deal. But in my case, I crossed that boundary with you. Uh, on the first on date? First, uh, oh. Not first date. <laughs> on That's first some shame. First get sleepover. 
first get away. I, we, we talk, dude, you know how I can't believe you're going. You're, you're talking. We're talking about this. I'm sweaty. You were talking about this your right now. Your pits are bowed. Hands are barking. But I think it's so cool that someone who looks as beautiful as you is okay talking about such natural things that happen. Because I mean, I love the fact that girls have normalized periods, but farting suddenly becomes a fucking taboo. Uh, so and I think it's amazing it's that you farted on our. Just some people are shy about it. I'm not. Yeah, you weren't, and you had no control over it because at the first time I've ever uh, spent the night with, and this is not what again what you guys think you fucking disgusting people who I love, but uh, we'd gone to a friend's farm in Lonavla. This is like one bedroom yeah. mein art log gaddi laga ke. It was a party sleep sleepover, and at two thirty three again she's had a lot of thetsa. So uh, without knowing in her sleep while we're cuddling, there's been a. Pst. Mr. P S S T. I want to say. No one gives a fuck about the sound. Pst. And it made me smile. I told you the next day, and this is exactly how nervous you were. I'm being done with this over. But you over still kept cuddling, that. so that was nice. Hundred percent. That's uh, cute. And speaking of butts, uh, let's let's move on. I have a question to ask you. Go on, ask me. Three. Banging proposal, everything, amongst the both of us. Think about this before you answer. Who is the reacher and who is the settler? In this marriage. Oh, easiest question ever, dude. Uh, I am hundred percent the settler, and you are a reacher. <laughs> what? It's what I thought, but by the way, that was very bad acting. Oh, what? What? It's not some sas bau kind of. You want to try that again? Get surprised again. Oh, that look is coming back. Okay, uh, is what I thought. I settled for, for a stupidity. Can I? Let me speak one second, because this is going to end in praise for you. Maybe not, but for the first three years of our marriage, I genuinely thought that uh, fuck, she, this chick is so lucky to have me, and I was unfortunately so full of myself. And in the last year and a half, two years, I've realized I couldn't be more wrong. And I think I have never evolved this much in my life, having great parents, having a wonderful brother, the sweetest sister-in-law. Uh, a nana and nani who loved me their entire lives and my entire life, but I have never been. A better human being than what you have made me, and it's purely because you know me better than anyone else. So you know which buttons to push when. Uh, so I cannot be happier to have married the girl of my dreams. So I think I definitely, I definitely reached like a motherfucker, and you just said, "I'll deal with this guy." Shut so, up. Uh, Shut so thanks, up. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. Are you gonna? Right. No, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Uh, no, but I do love, and I, I genuinely mean this. So I'm basically, uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a scene. I'm still fucking. You settled, bro. You did settle. I reached. That's good. I'm, 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 I'm just uh, sinking in with all the praise I and do. the love. I do. Thank you for marrying me. Because I've never think this is this is cute. It's adorable. I love. But uh, now let's get back to butts, because that's what this podcast is about. Yeah. Booted, dancing. Yeah. Uh, we. Uh, I want to actually before the butts. Do you remember what you did last night? Let's talk about that. And guys, I swear. Okay, I'm going to look at every camera and say this. I swear to God, there is not one percent exaggeration. There is not one percent extra I'm doing for this next bit because it's something literally that happened last night. She was obviously nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was a little like, oh, this is just the first podcast we're doing together. Mm -hmm. And when I get nervous, I get hungry. And at 11:30, I've asked her, "Are you uh, are you hungry?" To which. Well, I, I don't know. I said no. Yeah, as usual, and you've passed out. At two thirty, I've called for uh, Shazwan chicken uh, egg fried rice, and um, and and chicken lollipops. And I swear on everything that is holy to me. She has in her sleep eyes are shut. Do you remember what you've done? I, I sleep. Morning. She sleep eats like a baby, so her eyes Am are I shut. Am I the only one who's sleepy? Uh, people like in their Kids, sleep get hungry. Babies. Newborn infants wake up. You they asked me at eleven thirty. I was not they... hungry. Then at two thirty, I sleep. got hungry. Okay, and what? Have you, okay, guys. First of all, what she's done is what every guy on the planet hopes for. Because in her sleep, she's opened the mouth and then shut up. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> and then she's done. It was okay, more like I, I know I, I why she's done doing this. that. Her hands has and I'm, guys, I I know this sounds funny and weird. It's it sounds not gross. One percent. Her hands start moving. It has touched the rice, and do you, and what does she do? She smells the shazwan, and then she does. I can see people here are judging me, Jeans. You don't yeah. need to get into and, the nitty gritties. All of our viewers should know you. 
and she's so I've given her a bite in her sleep, lying down. She's had one bite. She's done it again. Three bites ke baad, and I she has no memory of this. She has woken up in the morning saying, "Why is my breath smelling garlicky?" I swear. Do you like? You I know eat? I've done this because I wake up with like that. I know I've not eaten garlic for dinner, but then I assume. Then I see your Cheetal Bukhara and this Bukhara. Hey, shout out to Cheetal Bukhara, the best chicken lollipop like, in the world. I must world. have <laughs> eaten. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, and now we're coming back to the topic of bums because we again, Ria. The one thing, unfortunately, that she loves more than me, and now there's no, there, there is no point even arguing about is sleep. Yeah, I love my like sleep. Like we didn't almost. Start I don't dating. love it more than you. I just time. I divide no, my no, time no, between you, you and my sleep. Because I have, I promise you, six out of seven days in a week, the, I wake her up in the same exact way. I wake up way before her, and it starts. The day starts with her sleeping and the thirty thousand butterfly kisses, but it's Russian roulette. Because it can go either ways. Either it's a while I'm kissing her, I feel the hand on my face, and she's like, "Fuck off." It's never a fuck off. It's, it's a. a mm-hmm. It's a fuck off. That mm mm-hmm is when I wake you up with gas. No, no. When I wake you up with love, it's a fuck off or it's a okay, no, enough, 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 enough. And the reason is because she prefers her dreams. You're like I'm in the. Sometimes I get really good dreams and then I want to finish it. You don't know this habit of mine. Like if I wake up, I try to put myself back to sleep. It is not humanly to possible to go so back into the dream. same fucking dream. I I try. You can't. And you I think this is normal, up. so guys, whoever's watching at home, please in the comments and. I, I know I'm sneakily also begging for comments because traction is life, but uh, <laughs> hey, 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 it is what it is. But honestly, let me know, please. That is this something that you guys do as well? Do you Mom literally talking. wake up from a dream that is great and then you you go back to sleeping, hoping I go back into that same dream? What do you dream about, by the way? Like, what are things that you pick over me? There's this one time I was dreaming about living inside a whale. Oh, as in. Like I am, I have entered the the body of a humpback whale. I told you about this. What are you I, behaving so weird about? I then that becomes my house. Cooks, you know, literally as you and said that, I my stomach whale. is gurgling. And then I start I'm, speaking whale, and then people find me. That, can you? Can you? Uh, can and you? Then I start how do you talking, speak whale? I become the whale whisperer. So become the whale. That was a beautiful. So how dream. do you speak whale? Let them. Speak. Ooh. Ooh. It happens. Ooh. So, so coming back to the point, this is how I wake her up, and uh, if her dream is not as good as I am, uh, she will not speak till she's had a morning coffee, which I'm guessing a lot of people do. That's so normal. So we have Fuck developed. Off. She rather has developed a butt language, which means just like the guy in Jurassic Park who puts his head on the big dinosaur and hears him breathing, I have to place my palm, and my wife is blessed with the boot high. Yeah, booty half high. Boop. Thank you, God. Squats. So I put my hand there and I swear I ask her questions and I have to. It's like it's like Morse, Morse code. code. It's a yeah. Morse code. And, and like get, one tumka means. It's not. It's not. It's, it's vibrations. It's. Shut so the fuck. Like, it's a tumka. You'll not get it. Can you do it right now? Uh, do you want to have coffee? It's never. It's not twerk. First of all, you're not. You're not. Uh, Listen, Kardashian English or, twerk, sort of they see tumka is the same thing. But yeah, and that's that's uh, a language that we have. You have ways of embarrassing me, like. Okay, I'll praise you. Are they? You know, what, actually, something cooks that I haven't actually discussed, and this is not even part of what we rehearsed. Is uh, you know something when we when we just got married, coming back to proposals happened. We had the most beautiful wedding. You know, for all you people who say uh, grooms and brides can't enjoy their own wedding. Eat shit because I have never enjoyed a wedding more yeah. than our wedding. Like, I haven't I think, enjoyed anyone's wedding as much as I enjoy yeah. my own wedding. I know what I was coming to is what till today it like it breaks my heart because you told me this like a few months, maybe a year or so ago that the first night after we came back home, mm-hmm. uh, you were uh, you woke up in the middle of the night and you you were sobbing in bed because you were missing your mama and it breaks my heart that you didn't wake me up and and just. Uh, what will I tell you that like, I'm missing, missing mama? mama? And I would have, what, what do you know? What, what is this zone called when I hug you? What is it? What do we call it? No fear zone. No fear zone, which means it, when it opens and you come inside, there is nothing to fear. And I, I think in my head it was more like I need to start dealing with this. It's a me problem. Like I think about right now, it breaks my heart that how oh. the fuck did you? Uh, but it lasted. But I overcame for, uh, that like in pretty eight hours. Quickly. Yeah. In eight hours, because all it took you is one night sleep, and uh, and what happened the next morning, bro? I woke up really late, dude. I don't. I'm not a morning person. I can't wake up early. But you remember what happened in the yeah, morning? Yeah, my mom freaked the fuck out because I woke up at <laughs> 1 p.m. 30, 30. And my Gujarati mother was like, 
sanskar what are they going to think of her garam brush yeah 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 she and was my really worried and she was pissed off that i woke up so late no but it wasn't her fault my mom fucked it up and my mom your mom's a rock star she's a, she's she's, she's a gangster she I also love loves to prank people and she loves to fuck around and uh, unfortunately my mother in law is not woven from the same fabric and she's one of those <gasps> hey these kind of people who also but now she's also changed i love you rupa ben you know i love you <laughs> I really want them to get to know uh, the the nutter shit we get up to. I've slapped you once. Oh, oh, domestic violence, my lord! I I've got and I fully deserved it. You uh, did. Okay, cooks. You just said something like really like people have probably clenched their butts. Tell them why. It was fully my bad. Go on, tell them. We were at a sangeet and uh, we were having the best time. I remember. This was at around one 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 fifteen at night, and I'm constantly hiccuping, like going mad hiccuping. Hooks, uh, I, I don't think you're feeling the story. Can you say? Can you say it with a British accent? <laughs> She does the the worst accents, by the way. Can I get some water? <laughs> it, it looks like your tongue has given up on you. Can I get some water? So we were at this uh, mad sangeet dancing till one one thirty, and then I'm constantly getting hiccups, and suddenly you come up. So it was literally while while we were uh, doing our thing, we were like, for example, if we're doing kala ch chashma or that, and and we've got there's one way to cure hiccups is if you scare the other person, it sort of dilates the diaphragm. Uh, you'll have to fact check this. I know you're scaring them. Does something to the diaphragm that you stop hiccuping. And dude, I really felt bad for because for an hour, forty-five minutes. And we minutes. were doing shorts, and I could see going, "Yeah, go, oh, tequila, what the fuck you were having?" And I remember there's one thing I could have done, and it had to be elaborate because that's how I am, extra, extra. So I have called you uh, and said, "Baby, I need to change from the suit to a track suit because now it's the after, after party, party vibe." And I swear, this is why you will believe that I deserved it. We've gone to the lift. I have swiped the key. The door is open, and with all of my ability to act. I have collapsed on the floor. It's not anyway. a joke. It's a, this happened. And the yeah. funniest thing is, and this is when you know exactly what's happening. I. In your mind. So when what did you scream? What did you scream? When you collapsed. Dude, I'm really getting. It's not even a. Now. It wasn't even a joke to me. Like I actually skipped a heartbeat. Guys, if you get my uh, stomach gurgling, keep that shit, dude. Keep that shit on the mic. I want to feel. You want a protein bar? Maybe after we're almost we're good with the podcast. No, but you scrammed. Oh my God, he's gone. Loudly, while I am collapsed on the floor and my face is not facing you, I'm like, what did she say? Oh, and you're you're narrating what you have to do loudly. You said, oh my God, he's gone. I need I to call, call Chita. Yeah, <laughs> I die. I was so scared. And what happened then? And then my then you got up and then you made me realize that I stopped getting my hiccups and thun karke it was. That was this. Oh, how much no, no. I loved you and hated you at the same. I deserved it. I fully deserved it, but it was fun. It uh, it it sorted you out. You really uh, done many more things. Yeah, we'll we'll say something for the other episode. But what what I want to end with, I think we're done. Uh, before we sign out, uh, first of all, guys, I can I, I genuinely say this from the bottom of my heart. When I speak, I'm going to speak for both of us. Of course. Thank you so much for being part of this journey, which has just started. We've put in a lot of hard work into this, and and uh, I think a special round of applause, at least from my end. For you, because uh, you've never been in front of a camera before like this, and it takes a lot of guts. Trust me, I've been doing this for three, four years now. It takes a lot of guts getting out of your comfort zone, and especially when you have such a thriving, successful career, to come out and and just fulfill this dream that I've had for six months of sharing a a stage with you. And uh, God knows it's going to go on. I love for, sharing dreams with you. Yeah, dude, that's what our life is, and and thank you. So it takes a lot. Trust me, this is. This is very, very brave of you to do, and uh, thank you. And there's, I promise you guys, if stay with us, and I promise you, what we'll do from our end is entertain you every week. And what we would love from your end is, uh, is always remember to call for an extra large portion of cookie, cookie and cream. This is the Catch Me Phone Maldives edition. Bye bye. Oh!